We got Jimmy Butler here. Join, join the show, man, Jimmy. I appreciate you, my dude. Appreciate you. Uh, you we're here. We're here having having dinner at um, Barclays here in downtown Philadelphia. You like? You got a wine selection. What's this right here? Uh, psst, what's this right here? <laughs> <laughs> Ornelia. Ornelia. Yeah, uh huh. 2015. 2015. There you go. All right. Coming from uh, region in Tuscany. Region in uh, Tuscany. It's predominantly Cabernet and Sangiovese. All right. Let me see what that looked like. Same okay. thing I was going to say. You, All just right. beat, you just beat me to it. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and he, he just said beat it better. Me to it. See, I'm not a wine kind of like, I'm a, I don't, but I see everybody every time they get the wine, they shake it up. Explain, what's. I just do it because everybody else does it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this the this is what they taught me. And look, to tell you the truth, when they was teaching me why you do it, I, I remembered it. Yeah. And then I forgot it. Yeah, but so, so. But now it's just like, you just do it. It's just a habit now. You know, I don't drink. Can I, can I get a little, little, little bit, little bit of that? You don't drink for real? I, I, no, I don't. Never have. But Jimmy? Oh, for me. <laughs> Yo, I had no idea. Just, just a tad. Let's, let's, it looks like grape juice. It is, it is grape juice. juice. All right. There you go. It is grape juice? See, I knew we were both going to say that. Yeah. So I, you sh- I knew that. You shake it like that. All right. I don't think it's called shaking it. So what, what is it called? Man, I just said I don't remember. <laughs> I literally just said I don't remember. All right. Oh, this- Swirl sounds more elegant. Swirl, there right. you go. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you really don't drink, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough swirl. All right, let me, hold, let me get some water. So, Jimmy, how, how's, how's, been, how's your transition been as far as being in Philadelphia? Great. It's been great. It was, it was cold there. It's really cold here today, Man. tonight. Man. Um, but it is, it's been great. I, all my people are down here with me, talking about my brothers, um, my friends, everybody that kind of worked for me. Um, everybody's been so helpful in everything, you know, me and some new, everybody in the organization, you know, teammates are great, coach is great, EB, great, fan base, great. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have too many complaints right now, I really don't. I'm happy, I can tell you that. You're happy? happy. What's, what's the last time you've been happy, JB? Uh, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I was really happy too. Uh, we lost, but I was still really happy. Yeah, yeah. You, we talking about that. Uh, the the Sixers um, OKC game. Yeah. Paul yeah. Paul George comes down and gamey man, part of it. That Stephen Adams. What what, what does Stephen Adams screen like, man? Man, like that back there. It's that wall. <laughs> like that wall right it's a wall, there. man. It's, hey, but you a wall yourself? Gosh, yeah, but he's a bigger wall. He's like yeah. the Great Wall of China. <laughs> I'm just like a. a a plywood wall, like, yeah. but you know, a really good team. Um, you got Russ, PG, mm-hmm. Stephen Adams. You, know, you, you go down the line. Some talented guys. I uh, like the matchup. You know, I didn't know this that we haven't beat them in so many, so many times. Yeah. We get them again. Yeah. We get them again. That's a, that's a good thing about it. We get them again. I mean, you've been you, like you. You're one of those players. What, what I think what everybody likes about you. First of all. But you, before you say uh-oh, uh-oh. it, some people going to like it and some people not going to like some it. Some people do, but I think the majority. Hold on. I want to get I got to I'm not I don't want to get too much on the past. But in your Minnesota days, uh-huh. did you ever catch the meme whenever you would sit out a game in Minnesota? It was the hold on. It was the uh it was the meme where you was dressed up like a, a sergeant. It was uh general sergeant. General. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy that it's crazy that you bring that up. <laughs> And it, it's crazy you bring it up because one of my own, and I say this, it be your own every time. My financial advisor thinks that that is the funniest oh, thing in the world. Coming, like he, he, he will say that to me out of nowhere. Like he, he, he laughs just as hard as you laugh at it. I'm just like, okay, no, if you really picture. get a kick out of no, it. Like, this, yeah. this, every, time, like every time we tweet a report, you know, Jimmy's not playing, somebody drops that yeah, picture yeah. in. You just every gotta man steal. every time. Every time. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm saying, like, well, most Every people, time. you know, you got, I think most people overall. You really like that. That yeah. was, it was hilarious every single time. Because your face, you're sitting at the mugging <laughs> with, with, with an with army oh, fatigue on. Man. General soreness. I'm like, man, I, how wow. you said, Tell internet, you man. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a crazy place. But everybody, I, I'm not saying everybody, yeah. but most people love and respect you. You know, your game, you work hard, both ends of the floor. But you're outspoken. You know, they definitely like that about you. But when you think about how you came, came into this league, you had to build, build your game up. Mm-hmm. You had to work hard. And I think that's what a lot of people 
who are taking notice to you now don't realize. Like, it took a lot for you to get to this point. Like, when did you, when did you realize that I could become an all-star player in this league? Hmm. I would, I would, I wouldn't say Because I didn't see it, I'm going to be honest. I didn't it's see okay. it coming in. You, I didn't ask you if you saw it or not. <laughs> I'm okay, just let's just get that out of the way. I didn't ask That's you fine, you didn't. Uh, I, I don't know if it was, if you're going to be an all-star or more so like just belong in the league. Mm -hmm. Just like, just hang on, you know. You're scratching and clawing at it already being the 30th pick, last pick of the first round, last pick of the first round, excuse mm -hmm. me. Um, what can you do to make your mark? And out of all coaches, get Tibbs to give yeah. you an opportunity to play. Yeah. Um, he don't want to play rookies. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to say that I wasn't that good. I mean, yeah, I wasn't that good. But I'm not going to say that I was just terrible. I wasn't uh, just terrible. I get you. And, uh, man, to tell you the truth, I just studied, I studied Lou. I studied the way that he studied the game. I studied the way that he took care of his body. I studied the it's way that yeah, okay. all day. I studied the way that he did everything, and I was just like, okay, well, he is who he is in the league because he goes back at night and he shoots, and then he beats everybody into the gym to work out, and he's lifting and he's getting in that cold ass water that I absolutely yeah. hate <laughs> getting in, mm -hmm. um, and I just started to do it. And before you know it, it was it was habit. And Lou used to always tell me, man, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. I was like, yeah, whatever, Lou. Easy for you to say. You get to start. You yeah. get to play 48 minutes. Yeah. I get it. You're ready. I don't need to be ready. Mm -hmm. Tip's never going to put me in the game until he put me in the game against the Knicks. And out of all people that I had to guard, Carmelo. Yeah. And um, I'll never forget it. Um, Derek comes off of a pick and roll. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm standing over there in the corner. He throws me the ball. And I get it. And I'm so wide open. Uh -huh. But I'm just like... No, I'm talking, we're national on TV. So I just yeah. dribble the ball and I just give it back to him. And I go to the huddle. Tears calls a timeout. Derek walks over to me and he's like, hey, man, if you're open, shoot the ball. Uh -huh. And I was just like, man, I don't know. All I can remember is buzz in college was like, when you get the ball, give it to the good players that belong here that's done mm. it before. That's all I could mm. hear in my head. And he came up to me and like, called me like, yo, when you get the ball, if you're open, man, shoot, be aggressive. Same play, and then I remember uh, he threw it to me in the same spot, and I took one dribble, uh, rose up and knocked the shot down. And then that's when um, I was like, maybe I can play. And then like the next game, I was right back on the bench because Lou was back. But that's besides the point. <laughs> but you, but I, uh, that I always had it from the beginning. I just got more of an opportunity, and with that opportunity came more confidence. And the more I believed in myself, the more that Tiz believed in me, the more that my teammates believed in me, the more that my organization believed in me. And then that's just when the, the all-star and all that other stuff came. Do you, well, do you consider yourself, I know you don't care. Let's put that out there. You don't care what people think or say or write. So don't. <laughs> I would be the first to tell you, I don't give a damn. And so since, hold on, since when? When did that type of mentality come? I've always been like that. I just, I haven't said it all the time. I've always acted it though. Like if, if you know me and you're around me, man, if you're not around me every day, I don't give a damn what you say because you don't know what I go through. You don't know how my emotions are like this. You just think mm -hmm. I'm just riding on the high all the time and I can say and do whatever I want. When you have a bad day, I bet you you'd be cussing and punching Hell just yeah. like everybody like that, else. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? Like, if you get emotional, you might get what you see. Uh, that's how I am. So if, if you're not around me every day and if you don't know me, you feel free to judge. I mean, everybody's judged. Okay, so. that's fine. But then you, cool. have, you have players who call out the media. They'll get on, you know, that's not like, there's a, there was all, you know, during the most tumultuous time period in you know, your career, there was a lot of things said about you. There were, you know, a lot of you, you know, you said that some was true, some wasn't. It, it doesn't bother you to the point where you feel like, man, I got a last shot, I got to address this. No. You really I don't, don't care, right? I, I really don't. I promise you. I don't give a, like, I really don't care. I really don't. Say whatever you want to say. Say whatever you want to say. But if you just come be around me for X amount of hours, X amount of days, you would be like, ah, I get it. I mm -hmm. understand. I know a little bit about him. I know why he do what he do. I know why he think the way that he think. I know why he moves the way that he moves. Mm -hmm. um, but you're not. You can only see bits and pieces from what you get out yeah. of the media or what from somebody else is telling you. Therefore, say whatever you want to say. 
I probably gonna say something back about you. Yeah, probably, you probably not, yeah. But because I don't really pay attention to it. And I, I noticed, and I noticed like when things were going bad in Minnesota that time, I went into the locker room. You were you were playing the um, the Warriors, and I just saw how you know how how much you were engaging with everybody. You yeah. know, talking you know talking to everybody, slapping people in. And that was, I was, that was a side I think people didn't see or didn't understand. Yeah, same it, I'm, I'm going to be me, no matter what the media says. I'm going to be me. I'm going to still mess with everybody. Like, y'all still my guys. There ain't nothing personal, man. It's not. Still talk to some of the guys. I really do. I, I want like them who, to be Jimmy? great. I want them to be great. Uh, I talked to Ties. Okay. Um, talked to Wiggs a little bit. Okay. I talked to Jeff. I talked to Taj, Brian Saunders, mm. uh, all of those coaches. Um, you left out names. Dude. I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. I didn't say I talked to everybody. I didn't say I talked to everybody. I understand. Um, but that don't mean that I don't want Cat to be great. Yeah. I, I want Cat uh, to be great. I want Cat to have everything that he wants out of the game. I want Minnesota to win. I want them to be successful yeah. because I think whenever you win, you get hungry for more winning. Whenever you win and you come up short, you're like, man, we're right there. We got to get over that hump. Um, I want him to be successful. I want Wiggs to be successful. I want Tyus to be a starter. Like, I want everybody to be as successful as they can, make as much money as they can, be able to provide for their family and more for a long time to come. Um, I have no bad things to say about anybody. Love Tibbs, we all know that. Yeah. So I don't got nothing bad no to doubt. say about him either. Like, it's, it's, it's not like that. Not trying to you know relive the past or anything, no, not, but I remember you in the locker room. Yeah. I do. Um, and you know, I'm still talking the game mm -hmm. with them. I was still a part of the team at that point in time. If one of them called me now and asked me a question about the game of basketball, I would be like, yo, you know, this is what I see. This is how I feel about it. You're my guy. I want you to be successful. I want you to win. I want you to be great. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna help you. I'm not gonna be like, nah, get out of here. I'm gonna help you. If you ask me for help, if I can help you, I'm gonna help you. You feel like you misunderstood? Yeah, a lot of times, yeah. I like it though. I like it. I like it. Somebody. You like it, okay. I do, I do. But the reason I like it is because you don't know me. The only thing you know is what people put out there. When you see that headline and you scrolling on your little computer while looking at the general soreness deal, and then you click it and you're like, oh, look at this article, just talking shit. I'm finna read it and then print it and yeah. then tell five of my friends to tell five of their friends to read it. That's fine by me. Boom. That's fine by me. If you uh, if you know me, you get it. You understand. I think I think from talking to people that that's been around you for a while, you know, you came in a, in a situation as a rookie, where you you came around guys like Lou Dang who were, yeah. you played with with Taj Gibson, uh, you know, guys who went at it daily, and I think for you, I I, I consider you like a self-made star, like cause nobody expected you to become what you are now. And so you had to, you didn't come in with all this hoopla. You know, it, it, nothing was given to you. The opportunities weren't given to you. And so I think for players like yourself, it's hard to come into a league where sometimes players like you, I would say, are hard on young guys, but it's not coming from a bad place. No. And so that's why when I, the transition, when you went to, oh, I, don't think, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that it's been hard. I'll ask you a question. Do you think I'm confrontational? Oh boy! <laughs> Do you think I'm confrontational? I think I, 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 it's I, a yes or no question. Do you think I'm confrontational? Not, not all the time. That's an, it's, it's yes or no. You the guy. Yes. Do you think I'm confrontational? Yes or no? All right. If you if you put in yes or no, I would say yes. Damn right I'm <laughs> confrontational. I am confrontational. But let me tell you why I'm okay. confrontational. Uh -huh. I remember coming into the league and I didn't practice because I was like the fifteenth guy. I would look at the way that D Rose and Booze and Lou and Joe Kim Joe were Kim on the, yeah. the same team, but cussing each other out. Mm -hmm. You miss your goddamn assignment. It's your fault. And I was just like, damn. Like, and he'd be like, yeah, so what? Let's go down here and get a stop. That. Don't do it again. And I'm yeah. just like, oh my God. He talking to D Rose like that? Oh no, they could have cut his ass. Yes, D Rose and D Rose. Talk, D -Rose I was like, you better talk to Derek like that. <laughs> MVP, you know, the hell you talking to. Yeah. But like, so that's what was instilled in Got me. You. And so then whenever I did start practicing, mm. when I missed my assignment, everybody on my tail. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta fend for yourself. Yeah, I feel you. 
but you're going back and forth. And at the end of the day, you're like, yo, I got you. I'm not going to do that again. That's a great you know. Idea. But that's, that's what I came into the league with. So that's what built me and made me me. That's all that I know. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to be a number one pick. I don't know how to, um, when I do something wrong, somebody not tell me that I did it wrong and just let it go. That, that's not how we did it back in, in my Chicago days. I'm serious. So that's why I'm confrontational. Mm -hmm. When I see something, I just jump on the right thing, boom. And I say it, and then I'm thinking I'm moving on from it, yeah. not thinking that somebody's stuck on it this way or that gotcha. way because I said it this way or that way. That's, I'm, that's just how it was. And you ask, as Taj, as, as Joe, like, that's how it was in them Chicago days. It was fun, too. Can you tell? No, I can tell. I mean, it's like in the moment, you're getting on each other. Yeah. But it's all for the betterment of the team. And that, when practice is over, the game is over. We laughing. Yeah. And that cold-ass water that I hate so damn much. <laughs> well, can that, can that same leadership style work with particularly youngsters? Can you, can you adjust or adapt, or you are who you are? A little bit of both, man. All right. I'm not perfect. I really do be working on it, though. Mm -hmm. I be reading books about it. <laughs> I be journaling about it. I be talking about it. It's hard. It's hard for uh, me to change because I feel like I've been a certain way for 29, going on 30 years. Um, it's, it's, it's tough to just flip a switch like that. Um, I really be trying, and like I be having a, the hold back a lot of the time. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes I just, I just, it just boils over. And it's just like, boom, there you go. There you have it. Uh, I think I've been good at, at not doing it mm -hmm. as of late. But, you know, I'll pull somebody off to the side and, and talk to them. And then, you know, maybe, I don't know, talk to them in front of everybody. Like, it's, it just depends on how I'm feeling on any certain day, just like how you might be feeling on any mm -hmm. certain day. I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning. Yeah, we all are. I don't know how they Works. We all are. I don't. Philly. Now now you're in Philly. It seems like all eyes are on you still. How? Because they no, want to no, see. No. Stop. Because they, they, they want to they see how you're going to be able to incorporate yourself. I'm doing fine. You, you, you're doing fine. You're, yeah, you're a player. Right. You're a player. You got a big, but you got a big summer coming up. Word? Yes, What's you coming do? up this man, summer? Man, shoot, Jimmy, man. You What's got a big summer, Fill man. Fill me in. Man, what we got? My birthday. Got, nah, it's bigger vacation. than that. It's bigger than that, man. You're going to watch some soccer. Bigger than that, man. Family reunion. Uh -huh. I'm, am I missing something? You, you, oh, Fill yeah, me you, in. You okay. You ain't looking at free agency? Fill me you in. You ain't looking at free agency, Jimmy? I'm not. I'm not. That's I'm what, not. see, as, as a brother looking, just looking, looking afar, looking at everything. Though that's the that's the one thing I was concerned about when all that stuff was going on. Whether it's a lot of it was true or false, I'm like, man, I hope the brother don't mess up on this payday. You know what I mean? Get your money. Any it was any of that? Is it was any of that? Mm -mm. I don't think that I can put money over my happiness. I don't think I can put basketball over my happiness. Like mm -hmm. I've I've learned that over the years that um I, I got to be happy if I want to play basketball at a high level anyways and, and then worry about a payday. Mm -hmm. um, but with that being said, the, the way that I move and the people I have around me, I want to make sure that, that they have me too. They got families to take care of and they have jobs wherever I go. So it's kind of like, you know, are, are you good here? Are you good here? So fast forwarding, which I don't do, yeah. um, but what I'm planning on doing is I got to sit down with them too and talk to them about, yo, what do you think? What do you think? If I don't like what you think, I'm not going to listen because really I'm the, I'm the boss. Yeah, it's your and I'm the one that Exactly. No but I do have to listen to them because I love them and they're around me every day. They know me. They know where my heart is. So I really take their opinion um, into account on absolutely everything. And um, so when I say that I, I don't be worried about free agency, I don't um, because if I look too far ahead, I'm damn sure gonna lose the day mm -hmm. and all the days in between when free agency starts, and I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. Well, speak, speaking of the day, what's you guys' what's what's you guys' ceiling? What are you learning from this team um, as you go on? That we can be so good, and we can be equally as bad, because I think that too much of any good thing is a bad thing. And the second that we decide that we have that much talent, and we're gonna be able to cruise through this thing. Yeah. It's gonna be a sad story for the 76ers. But I will say, 
we don't have guys that think like that. Mm -hmm. We got guys that want everybody to be great. I will say that, mm -hmm. and we got guys that want to win um, and that pay attention and that want to learn and that are asking all the right questions. That's the, that's the best part about the young group of guys that we have. And um, we're, we're, we're in it together. You know, we're, we're paying attention and stuff. We make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Me being a, the leader of the mistake, mistake makers. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when somebody makes a mistake, you talk to them about it. You might get in an argument and you might start cussing each other out. At the end of the day, at the end of the timeout or at the end of that practice, we're together. We win together, we lose together, and we're gonna move on from it. Together. Have you have you been able to fully be yourself? Like you know, like when a new kid gets in the school, you kinda like waiting to see. Oh, okay. Oh, be Excuse me, okay, sorry. Hey. My, my fault. Oh, I forgot who I was talking to. I'm gonna be myself. <laughs> I forgot who I was talking to. They're gonna be I'm I have to be myself. I I don't know how to fake anything. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. If I don't like you, you know I don't like you. Yeah, okay. Half the time, I'm probably gonna tell you I don't like you. Uh huh. Or if I don't talk to you, I'm pretty I sure don't you feel like it. you. Yeah, well, yeah. Because we, we, I speak to that. everybody. Uh huh. I speak to everybody. Then I, I spoke to all y'all whenever I came oh, here. Then yes, I yes, he did. Spoke to all y'all. So you like everybody? If so I like didn't him. like you, I wouldn't talk to you, and I'd be over here like, man, I don't like him. But I didn't do that. Like they, you get what you see out of me. You don't know if that, I don't like you. That's genuine. I, I can contest to that. That's true. I, every time I see you, I speak to you. What's though. up? You give me dap every, and say every, what's up. Every yeah. single time. I, I like you. I, pre the I appreciate that. The second that I don't like uh -huh. you. I, I, this, this, this will be the last one. I'm huh? flipping the table. <laughs> Boom. Table up in there. We'll take this off first, <laughs> though. You take it off. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I'll make sure if you don't like, we'll wait to the end, towards the end of it, man. You, but, you know, you think about the, the fit here, man. Like, Philadelphia is a is a – a city, you know, people work hard, blue collar. And that fits everything, fits everything about you. And you're used to, you, you think about players in this league who are venturing off to other destinations to join super teams or sometimes joining teams that are in warm weather climates. Mm. How important is that for players, like around there? Like how important is like being in those type of It type is, of it is important. I'm not gonna lie to you, but that, that ties in with that happiness, man. Uh -huh. Ties in, it ties in with that happiness. Uh, wh whatever makes you happy, like man, hell, if, if you like living by the water, if that calms your whatever, yeah. then there are cities that you can live in that's by the, the by the water. Mm -hmm. If you like being in the country, there are cities that you can live in that you literally got nothing but country <laughs> at, like. Whatever what you want. Like that? What, what man, that Houston's come? one of those. Trust yeah, me, I'm from bit. there. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee <laughs> Memphis is like that. You can go out in the country. Yeah, as soon as you pass downtown. San Antonio, like, yeah. all the tech. Like, you can get Indiana. Yeah. You can get out there into the, if that's what you want. Um, but it's all about being happy. Like, people have certain things that make them happy. And then if you can tie all those things in, boom, that city is the destination for me. And that's that's the city. That's the destination. What, what what makes you happy, Jim? You you're you do a lot. Like you, you, if somebody were to listen to you for five minutes just to check out your swag, check out how you talk, I think they would be fooled to know like just what you like to do on and your off time. That's why I tell you that people don't know. Yeah, that, 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 only the people that's close, and that's true. They, exactly. So tell people what what is it that you that you like? Um, I love being around my guys. I probably mentioned them. A whole ten times already been at this table because they mean so much to me. Um, I'm around them every single day, whether we're playing dominoes, playing cards. These are your guys you came up with, yeah, uh, uh, or that I met whenever I was in Chicago. But uh -huh. it's like y'all been around me every day, so you know, like you can, they can tell what I want to talk about, when I want to go do this, when I need to do that, and they can tell like, yo, leave him alone. Yeah, like he's not, he's not with it right now. Um, that. I mean, I think a lot of the world knows that I, I love social media now. I mean, social media. I was like, you I social think, media? No, what, no, what, no, no, what no, no. <laughs> I think a lot <laughs> of the world knows through social media. Uh -huh. Like, um, I love country music. Yeah. Um, what else? The wine thing is, is new to me now. You know, you, you get into fashion a little bit. Yeah. I'm still a, a country dude at heart. I don't like yeah, swimming. That, that tripped me up. I'm not. Well, you, you're not alone there. Yeah. yeah, you see what I mean? So, like, <laughs> there, there, there's a lot that goes in to me.
But the minivan thing, you still? Yeah. What, what's up with that? Dude? I didn't pull up in a minivan tonight, though. I didn't pull up in a minivan. No, I, I saw you pull it. That's, that's yeah. far from a minivan right It there. is. Well, first of all, that's, don't. The, he, I didn't pull up in a Bentley or I pulled up in an Escalade. That's an Escalade. Yeah. That's, that's far from a minivan. Come on now. Hey, Come that on, far. I could have pulled up in Zim. a... A, a limo or Zim. landed in a helicopter. Zim. That's I, I far saw, from a minivan. I, I saw the minivan you pulled up in. Bad in, baby, in, in bad LA. too. That thing had tinted windows in it. <laughs> bad baby, bad. I'm telling you, you don't know who up in that with me now. All right? Can I get an amen? Hey, man, I, was, hey, I respect, man. You keep it real, man. You know, you, you're, not, you're not... Material things, I guess, don't, don't move. I, ha- I, have my, I have my things. I do have my things. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like... The things that I, I do like to get for myself or get for my guys, I wouldn't give a damn if somebody came and like threw them all in. The, like they don't mean that much to me. Yeah. Um, I do like what I like, but I'm not gonna say that that's what makes me or breaks me or any of that stuff. But uh, I do I do like nice things, just like you do. You got your uh, nice little T-shirt on right it's, there. It's man. all right, man. Ooh. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad the cameras ain't showing the shoes because nah. the brother ain't matching today. Man. That's okay. That's uh, why you underneath the table. <laughs> I made sure that I was matching, so I just ran. I just wore the same top yeah. and bottom set. Oh, I, you do. You do all right, Jay. Yeah. You doing all right, my guy. I did. I did want to ask you about man, just the state of the NBA. And but first and foremost, man, you're a star player. But first and foremost, man, you're defensive minded. You're always guarding the best perimeter guy. Sometimes you down there guarding the best front court player. And it seems like the NBA now is just allowing pretty much anything from the offensive position. Like, yeah. I, I got to bring up James Harden and, and what, what he's doing over there. <laughs> like, what, what do you think about some of the stuff he, you know, first of all, he's having a tremendous season, probably probably up the leader, the MVP. Uh, but what, what do you think about just how the NBA is kind of allowing offensive players to pretty much get away with, with a lot? Um, that's what the league is. James is an incredible scorer. Let's just get that out. No, for sure. No taking up from yeah. To me, you know, half the moves that he does, I don't I don't think they're travels like everybody says. Mm. I really don't. Like I be studying his footwork, I watch it, I'm like, man, it's a man. It actually be clean. And then you gotta go and look at it from, you know, the rest point of view. Like yeah. no, it's hard you to think, see from you, the you think that they don't go back and look at it like, oh, did he really travel right here? And they look at him like Nah, he actually didn't travel because then the next time that the refs get they'd be like, oh, saw that move before that's travel. <laughs> Nobody ever caught because it's it's not. Yeah. Um, he he's he's mastered it. I'm I'm telling you, he's he's a tough cover for anybody. And Man. I'm a defensive guy. <laughs> um he's he's a hell of a player, but you got you got a lot of players like that. You got <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you got <laughs> Steph. <laughs> you got yeah. KD, you got Braun. You got AD, you got Giannis, you mm-hmm. got t- Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got so many offenses just juggernauts. Like, you, there ain't nothing you could do with them. You could. Nothing, huh? Nothing. You know, it, it, there, look, I agree to a certain point that there's nothing. But you know what really got to me? I don't know if you've seen it, Jimmy. The Lakers play Houston. Okay. And you have players. Putting their hands behind their backs, guarding. Man, like, come on, like, seriously, like, what, anybody, what is? Did nobody tell you to put your hands behind? Your back? <laughs> like, what? what? I feel bad for you. Crazy what part the... is, he's probably still gonna score, even if you didn't have your hands behind. I understand your back. that, but you, you're giving him a clean shot. So what? Or you're not gonna foul him, but he's getting a clean look now. He doesn't matter. He makes clean looks. He makes contested looks. He makes them over double teams, triple teams. Sure. Hell. Put your coach out there. He'll score him too. Like it, <laughs> that's just what he does. That's what he's mastered. Like, and then you look at the guys that mastered getting to stop. Guys like Tony Allen, Bruce Bowen. Um, but it's, it's, it's changed a little. The game. I'm changed. not gonna say that it hasn't changed. But I'm just saying you got guys that mastered. Yo, I'm gonna stop this. These guys. I've mastered it. I know how to do it. Um, and Jay, I would say James. KD, Steph, they, they've mastered the off. To me, they've mastered the offensive game. Who's the hardest cover in the league for you? Man, I think a lot of people agree with me by saying um, KD's just tough. Man. That's, yeah. KD's Length tough. Length and everything. Gosh. Like, what you want him to do, he's athletic. He can shoot. He can dribble. He can post up, shoot the three. 
Yeah, you would good. think, you know, people would say just be physical with him. He would shoot over you. <laughs> physical or not. Like, man, there ain't, there ain't too much that you can do. Am I rude if I talk with food in my mouth? <laughs> no, man. Actually, I need to bust the food anyways. <laughs> no. Don't worry. Oh, man. I'll bless it. Go ahead, Jimmy. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this great dinner. The hands that prepared it for us. Um, let this food go through and nourish our body, our mind, our spirits, and our soul. Let's continue to be who we are. And let's be thankful for the greatest soccer player in the world and name our junior. Amen. Amen, Jim. <laughs> what? You got to be thankful, man. Hold We're on, witnessing man. greatness. Just, just, just show people I ain't no heathen out there. I did pray internally, man. Yeah, I that's okay. Go. So we had, to, we had to make sure that no, we, we pray for Neymar because he's I, the GOAT. So, you know. I'll leave that alone, Jerry. How your how your fish, man? It's good. This I your go to spot. This your go to spot right here, man. It is. Whenever I do leave the house for um for um for dinner, I'm probably I'm probably down here. Hey, it's, it's hard to leave the house around here. It's supposed to be like eight degrees. I mean, it's um, so cold. But that's what you're used to. Used to it anyway. Yeah, you think like the camera? Does it look like? I'm pouring liquor into this glass whenever I bring it down here and do this. They probably like, man, what is he doing? First of all, that's no. what That's what Hancock was doing yeah. at the table. Well, that's what he was doing, huh? Yeah. So they don't know what I, I poured have, in there. Uh-huh. We not going to tell them what I poured I in there. I ain't saying nothing, Jamie. You heard me? I ain't saying nothing. You a mystery anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I ain't know saying nothing, is. man. How do, you feel, how do you feel about, I'm not even talking about, off the court things this season. How do you feel about your season overall this year, just on the basketball court? I'm cool. We winning. Um, as long as we continually win, I feel like I'm doing my job because that's all I talk about is I just want to win. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters to me. I think um, whenever you win, everybody eats, so to say. Everybody gets what they want. Um, and that's what I've always been about. I just want to win. Like, I want to win a championship at some level or degree. Yeah. I didn't do it in high school. I didn't do it in college. Um, now all I got, I don't know why I almost caught that. <laughs> yeah. That would have been weird just if I would have caught right it. There. Yeah, just, just um, picking it off. If I don't win it here, then I gotta, you know, I gotta try to go to like the 50 and over league whenever <laughs> I get there. But I gotta, I gotta win a championship at, at I some thought, stage. I thought I saw you. I don't know. I'm not, man. Been somebody else, but you. What do you mean? You said you, you didn't see yourself playing past a certain age. What age was that? It was 35. 35. Yeah. So you got what five? You're 29 right now, right? Yeah, yeah but I'm going on 30. You're going on 30. Five. Why I you think say I that? just said it. Oh, you just said it. I was bored. Okay. You know. You, it gets but that, like that, that, that goes that goes to show my point though that if it's a storyline, all you gotta do is click on it. Cause I just said it just to say it. I think I was sitting next to, I was, I was talking about it earlier, it's crazy, I was talking about it earlier today. I think I was sitting next to Ben and um, a reporter asked something that I was just like, why would you even ask me that question? Like it came out of nowhere. So I was just like, man, I don't even, I don't even plan on playing this game past 35. Just cause I didn't feel like answering yeah, the question. Okay. And then I said gotcha. it and then it was like, oh, Gotcha. There it is everywhere. Do you get surprised by that? Just the, when you see nothing surprises me in the nothing media at all. nowadays. Even nothing. something you, you said that's to you is minute, and the next day you woke up or an hour later, it's, it's, it blew up. Doesn't surprise you. Nothing surprises me in the media. Nothing. Nothing about me, at least. Hmm. Because there's always something about me. All right. I'm pretty sure this fish is amazing, but tomorrow's gonna be like, oh, Jimmy said the fish at Barclay <laughs> Prime was terrible. Like, it, it'll it'll find a way to come back on me. For sure. <laughs> you crazy, man. <laughs> you. No, but Tell that's what, what I know. And see, see, I, I, I'm starting to see a common thing. Like I had, I had KD on my first episode, and you know, we had to talk about the player media relationship, and you know, he has this qualms with how he's covered and what's there. Do you, do you feel like? How, how do you feel overly about the media as far as their role, especially covering you? Um. I don't feel a certain way about the media. I realize that you have a job to do. I'm not mad at it. Mm -hmm. Do I think that a lot of people could go about it differently? Yeah. Um, especially knowing who you're dealing with. 
So you kind of, you, you know when you're poking a bear and you know when to get him to be like, ah, and yeah. say something like, instead of just be like, oh, I see he in this mood, I see he in this bag over there, I'm gonna leave him alone. Mm -hmm. No, you wanna go over there and mess with him, like, because you want the story instead of just realizing the human aspect of things. And it's like, man, he don't feel like talking to nobody. Yeah. You know he just played a bad game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does have to talk about it, but I'm not just gonna hit him with a question that I know he gonna be like, oh, I got my, I got yeah. my pad ready. I get that. Let me put my dumb ass recorder up yeah. here on the stand. Like, that's, but that's, that's the media's job. Mm -hmm. So I think as a, as a player, as a player, you have to realize that. And then you gotta kinda try to um, put a cap on the emotions, bottle them up on, on all of that good stuff. And it's hard to do. But I think the good, the good media out there, they understand that. No, without and, and there are some good ones. Yeah, there are but some they good. they understand it is a human element. Like you guys are, guys are human beings. You know what I mean? And then there are there are questions that we have to ask even after tough games. But there's a way of going about it. Mm -hmm. You know, like sometimes I go in the locker room pregame, and um. Just feel a player out. You know, yeah. you, you can feel like, okay, he's not buying. You know what I mean? And, you and know. a lot of the times, you'll be like, hey, just letting you know, after the game. I I'm going, I've done that. Yeah, I know. I'm with you. Yes. So, like, that, that, those are the ones I'm talking about. I'm like, man, yeah, I feel for him. For one, I don't need time to think about what I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Let's just get that out the way. But, you know, for other people, they might, oh, man, let me think about how I'm going to word yeah. this. Because I know the media is going to try to flip it on me. I don't give a damn. Flip it. Spin it. As long as you know, I still got my job, you still got your job. Yeah. yeah we good. We good, huh? We good. You crazy, man. <laughs> you we crazy. good. <laughs> good. How, how, much, how much are you surprised by uh, what D. Rose has, has done this year? I'm you, not surprised. You're not surprised? No, huh? I'm not. I came into the league when he was MVP. Mm -hmm. And it's the, the, the whole reason why I'm not surprised is. I look at how I came into the league. Mm -hmm. I had the talent. I just needed somebody to let me show that I could do it. Mm -hmm. I needed somebody to believe in me. And if you gave a little confidence in me, the confidence that I had in myself would come out and then I would start to flourish. Mm -hmm. That's just what D-Rose did all over again. You know, he got his opportunity. Shout out to Tibbs. Yeah. Um, and he just did what, if you knew him, he did what he was going to do, what he was capable of, what he always could have done. He just needed the opportunity to do it. And um, he, he got that opportunity. I'm happy for him. Is that why you and, you and D-Rose feel indebted to Tibbs? It's like he, he, he gave you guys that? Man, damn, man, we just, we rock with Tibbs because we know how he moves. We know that he, as annoying as it is, and that is really annoying, you don't beat him to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you don't leave <laughs> later than him. That's it's crazy. like, damn. Yeah. That's what make you rock with the man. Like, he always working. And like I say, too much of anything, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. It is. That <laughs> all he do is work. <laughs> That's it. I'm like, yo, Tibbs, give it oh, a break. Let's see. But, I mean, that's, that's, who, that's what makes him him. I love him for it. And that's why you look at your flight and becoming the player you are. You look at the the players that you came in, you know, Lou Aldan, you see him, you know, be a true pro. Tibbs, it seems like he's the ultimate pro as far as, you know, and, and it comes out. That's just getting just out of the way. You just, uh-oh. Tibbs didn't like me at first, okay? So we're not going to say that. I, I never forget one time I came into the arena before everybody, uh -huh. except for one person. Tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm I'm walking into the arena. This your I'm, rookie year? Rookie year. Okay. Rookie right. year. I'm walking to the arena. I'm I'm there before like game at seven. I'm probably there at like two thirty. Damn, okay. That's early. Get some work in, right? I come into the arena. Nobody there. Mm -hmm. Me and Tiggs, some of the, the people that worked around the arena, I'm on the phone. And I'm talking. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pulling up to the arena, finna get some shots up, probably the lift. Whoop de whoop de woo. I look up in his tips. He didn't wave. He just gave me like a <laughs> two thirty. Uh huh. Later on, before the game, uh, 
Adrian Griffin, who was like yeah. my coach yep. at the time, comes yeah. up to me. He said, yo, Jimmy, come here, let me talk to you right quick. I said, uh, what's up, Griff? He go, yo, man, you got to be more professional. I said, what? He goes, yeah, man, you was on, the, uh, you was on your phone before the game. I was like, man, it was 2.30 <laughs> in the afternoon, and nobody else was here. The only person that could have told you that was Tibbs. So Tibbs just picking on me as a- after the game, man. Man. Damn. No, before the game, at 2.30 before the game, he told me at probably like 5 whenever he, when he got when there. When he got there. And um, I was like, man, Tibbs just not rocking with yeah, me, man. It's like you try to go above and beyond man. And, and get there early. That, hey, but that was so funny because now I look back on it, and I'm hard, I'm, I be on my phone, but now because like everybody got music on their phone and yeah. all that stuff. I don't really be on the phone like that talking no more. Oh, like, because man, Tibbs don't come around the damn corner. <laughs> yeah, you don't get off your damn phone. So, no, uh, oh, man. Now that's my guy. Uh, I, I got to ask, how, how do you feel his situation went down in Minnesota, him being let go? I have to ask you. Um, you knew it was going to happen? Yeah, it was just. All right, then. So, yeah, was, <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> You didn't have to ask. You wanted to ask. You wanted to ask. You didn't have to. That's why those things like, Jimmy, I come to you before the game. Jimmy, I got to ask this question, but I'll wait till after the game, bro. Um, I felt like we all knew that it was coming. I don't know if we knew exactly when, but um, I think he did a lot of, a lot of great things um, for the Timberwolves. Mm -hmm. I know he's going to get another shot at it. Um, that's my guy. You know that. I know. Yep. Everybody in here knows that. Mm -hmm. I think the world knows that. Tibbs, you don't know that. You my guy, Tibbs. <laughs> uh, so uh, he's, a, he's a really good coach. He, he definitely is. He's probably still studying the game. I don't know who he's trying to help, but he's, he's definitely studying the game. He, he, he loves the game. He, he loves to win. You, can't, you cannot say that about him. Mm -hmm. like, yo, he got a different agenda. Nah, his agenda is to win, which is why at times he's going to play his best players yeah. for 48 minutes. Yeah. Cause he's like, yo, those are my best players. I know if I got him out there, um, we're gonna win. Yeah, you know what he's gonna get. I love him for it, man. Mm. I do. I do. What do you think, um, what do you think about, I asked you know, some players this question as well. I wanna get your opinion. How you feel about the, the, the all-star draft format now where they're Picking players live now, like on TV, and yeah. everybody get to watch yeah. it. I think it's cool. I think it's cool for the fans. Um, don't make me too much of a difference. I know, I know, I know. But I think for the for the fan experience and um, to feel like they're close friend on the game, you know, you get to guess who's gonna be picked. Mm -hmm. Get to bet on who's gonna be the first yeah. pick. Yeah, like come on, man. No, no, no. You're not fooling me. Yeah. There's always that's, money involved. That's what it's gonna be about. Um, other than that, man, I don't, I don't care. You know. What about the person who who's picked last? Do you think that's like an unnecessary? Well, I think I don't put words in your mouth, but I feel like it's an unnecessary jab at a player who is an all star, but now he's being drafted last. And, Man, at him. please. Everybody <laughs> worried about that. Man, I tell you what. Pick me first, second, and last and 13th, pick me 12th. I don't give a damn. Don't nobody care. You once you get yeah. to a uh. <coughs> once you get to a certain point in the league, man, once you get to an all-star and you're sitting in that room, like the first time that I was in there and I was like, man, I'm in here with LeBron. Mm. I look over here at KD. And Melo and D Wade and CP and St like once you're there, it, it don't matter if you're the first pick or the yeah. the last pick. It's like you're you're an elite company, and ain't nobody looking at it as first pick or last pick. It's just like hey, this is this how we pick it. You know what I mean? Um, man, it's an honor to be an all star to be able to play with they get other all stars um, on that on that night um, with those. Caliber of players, like, man, we, I, I promise you, once you're also, you're not worried if you're the first pick. You're not worried if you're the last pick. You just want to go out there and have fun. How many, how many years you could you, you're an all-star unlike others. When I, when I, what I mean by that is 
you got some players who are, well, most of the All-Stars are just offensive players, and they can preserve themselves on the other end. Mm -hmm. You're going full throttle on both sides. I just want to compete. But do you have to preserve sometimes? Do you it's hard for me to do so. I'd be one to, I'd be like, man, no layups, foul. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I really be like, I like oh, don't foul. I like that. No, don't do it. Yeah. It's an All-Star game. Yeah. And um, I get a... Uh, I mean, it, it's cool to be out there, but I be wanting to compete. Like, if we're gonna be here, then we might as well battle. Let's but do I, it. I, I understand it, man. You don't want to get hurt. Trust me. I, I get it. A lot goes into it, so it's. I, I think a little bit differently, um, but I think a, a lot of people do kind of feel that way. Like you got what ten of the best players in the world on a court at any given time, man. If you really was like, yo, let's. Let's lock in and let's let's go. Mm -hmm. Man, I know, but like you said, the, the risk of injury. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get yeah. it. I understand it. But I, I mean, it. I think the NBA did a better job with what they implemented. Like they're giving you guys bonus money incentive to to win the game. I know it's not. Hey, look, I Thank know it's I, I'm Thank not. Gonna say, I know it's not. You know, a lot. I'm, I'm not going to say that like, I, no, we don't want the bread. You can't don't say, get me I'll wrong. say I'll say that. I'll say, right. I'll say you can't say that. We ain't going to be ungrateful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not going to be that. Well, you know, just try trying to uh, increase the competitive nature. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever get to that point where you guys are just. It will. It will. Like, the, just how the game has changed now. Like, think about it. Could you have guessed 10 years ago? That we would be picking all star teams and wouldn't no. be a, exactly. No. So it'll it'll change. When, I don't know. I don't know, Jimmy. You come in an era where it's about competing. And I'm not saying the youngsters out there ain't competing. But I think their competing is different from Whenever you was young, what was like what was like the style? What'd y'all wear? Well, so I'm thirty seven now. So, so it was what, a, what, what was, was in back then? The what back, was it was the baggy pants. It was it was the, it was the throwback jerseys. Throwback jerseys. Like what else? Give me some. Man, I mean, if we going back to high school, we talking about shoes or just clothes? Shoes. Give me clothes. Man, shoes. The Grant. Let's go. Let's go back to Grant. The answers. The Allen Iverson. Okay. AI. The Grant. The Grant Hills. The okay. Feelers coming up. Feelers, right? All the joy. Yes, sir. Is Feeler kind of back right now? Kind of. No, what's me kind of back? They ain't back like how they how they used to be. But people weren't feelings again, right? They trying to trying to get a restart. Come full circle is what I'm hmm, saying. Okay. Camo yeah. was in. Camo came back. Starter yeah. jackets. Yeah. Champion. That's what all I mean. of that. It it comes back. It's gonna come back. Just believe believe in me. <laughs> it's coming back. I'm telling you. It's coming back. It's written. Cool, it's coming back. That's circle of life. Yeah. Man. Do you think so? What about what about All Star in this format? Do you think? How do you feel about All Stars being the top twenty four, regardless of conference? That's what it is. No, right now. I'm gonna say it's right, not. Yeah, right now it's just you know top twelve in each conference. Mm -hmm. But then you know I, I was talking so, I was talking to Damian Lillard, Portland Trailblazers, and you know we were discussing, you know I think he's a. It might be four time, but I think he's a three time All Star. But we were just talking about like if he was in the he's East. He's good, by the way. Yeah, no, he, he's he's good. Yeah, he's good. Uh -huh. how, how close are you and him? We talk. Yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> so so ba basically, <laughs> basically, you're asking me questions that you know the answer no, no, to. No, I wasn't gonna ask that question. I was that was the question I had. I just said I know. Y'all talk. Wow, All I right. tell you no, what. I'm just saying. I'm moving Woo. on. Can I move on? Please. <laughs> good. What were you saying? <laughs> I was saying that. If he if 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 he happened to be playing the Eastern Conference, who have more All Star appearances than he does in the West at that position, at the position he plays? If 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 was a fifth, oh here we we'll go. all be drunk. Here we go. All right, check. Okay, check, talk. All right, check. I, I I get that, Jamie. But look, when it's all said and done, when your career is all said and done, we're talking about Hall of Fame resumes, right? And then you take a player who was in the East. It can be whatever, but maybe that's what you're yeah. And you look at him, he may have nine nine time All Star. You know, when you're looking at the credentials, you look at this player who was a better player in that conference, four time All Star. Free agent, take your ass to the East then. Man, well, well, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I guess I guess that's all. <laughs> no, 
no, yeah, I, I hear you. You know what I mean? mean? It's, it's different. You know, I so I was like, you can kill all that noise. And just put the top 24 in the all-star team, regardless, and then do your draft. Do your little draft. And but, I mean, that goes back to what I'm saying. Like, why you play the game? You play the game to be an all-star, you play the game to win. Yeah, that's, that's real. Like, that's real. you know, coming out of the West, you know who you probably going to have to go through. Mm -hmm. If you can beat them. Ain't no problem. You're going to have to go through them, dude. If you can beat them, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> We beat them. I, we got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can you can play for the All Star team, and you can play to for whatever reason. But uh, my thing is, I'm just playing to win. Like whenever I was in the West, it was like, yo, we gotta, yo, if we can beat Houston, yeah. we might be alright. It's crazy though, because when you beat Houston, you gonna have to beat somebody else. Yeah. And then whenever you beat somebody else, you probably gonna end up having to beat yeah. them. Yeah. So. Like if you can, if you can get out the West, All Star or not, man. Man, oh, man. Speaking about that, that team, them, Golden State. You know, they recently added Demarcus Cousins to the mix, man. That's my guy. <laughs> That's my guy. <laughs> you know, I love Cuz, man. One of my favorite human beings. I love Cuz. Favorite player. See, you. If there was an all great quote team, first team, you, Cousins. Probably KD. Russ. Russ. Yeah, Russ, Russ all bad. Russ, Russ, Russ is there, man. It's full cuz, man. First game back, right? He don't care. <laughs> he he LA, don't care. LA, they are he showering him with praises, everything. What he say, man? That has to be the fakest love I ever seen. <laughs> he don't care. He gonna tell it how he it is. He couldn't ride the moment. He just couldn't ride the moment, man. No. He, come in, he man. don't care. Y'all are crazy, man. That's why if you know him, <laughs> You love him for him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You gonna get what you gonna get. He gonna tell it how it is. That's why that's my dog. When, when your career is said and done, you know, I know hopefully, you know, you got a, a championship or two under your, under your resume. What do you want people to remember you by? Um, winning. First and foremost, like I, I want to be known as a winner. I, I have to be known as a winner. Um, but other than that, do you think if it ended right now that you're known as a winner? Or you, or you'll be known as? Well, what, what? There's levels. To yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I, 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 get I get that. I get. Not gonna say that I'm a loser. No, you're not. But I don't not think that. you can say that I'm a I'm a winner. I ain't I ain't really done nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, so I got I got a ways to go, quote unquote. Since I want to play till I'm 35, I yeah. got five more years. Yeah, you got five more years. So uh, we'll figure cool. it out. But other than that, man, I just I want people to know that I, I'm I'm gonna tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. And um, that's why I talk to I talk to Steven Jackson so much, man, because that. Oh always tells me the truth. Exactly. And he'll man. tell you the truth, and he'll tell them the truth, and that's why I love him so much. That's why I respect him, because it's like, mm -hmm. man, he don't care who you are. He going to be who he is, and he going to tell you the truth. Hey, you, you, and, you and Jack are And he from Houston. Thousand, like, yeah. that's, that's, my, that's my OG. Like, that's who I was paying attention. Look at how he played the game, played his heart out, mm -hmm. gave everything to the game, and, and, and still said what he felt was right did what he felt was right. Good, bad, and different. He was like, I'm cool with who I am. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. I know what I'm about. And if you don't like it, he'll tell you, F you. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what he would tell. That's what he going to tell you. And that's my, that's my man. I was talking to him on the yeah. way over here. Um, I'm going to talk to him when I get out of here. Just, you know, picking his brain on a, on a lot of different stuff, man. That's my guy. Um, good, bad, and different. And if I'm, if I'm in the wrong, I'm gonna ask him, yo, I'm wrong. And if I was wrong, he's gonna be like, hell yeah, you're wrong. What the f think? No, that's what's up. But if I'm not, he's gonna be like, nah, I, I feel you. Da 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 da. Um, but, but that's my that's my guy. And when you ask people about him, he's a real one. Yeah, that's he's tell you the truth. And I, you, see, truth. you said before that you, you have no regrets. Mm -mm. But that doesn't mean 
Hold, hold on, hold on. Does that mean you, you wish that you, are there some things that you wish you could have done differently? Because you can still say I have no regrets. Like what? It. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not bringing anything up. I don't know. Nope. No. Makes me who I am. Mm -hmm. If I don't do some things, it probably wouldn't have you talking about some things at this table right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you might not be one, to, if I was just an angel, you might mean, I want to talk to this boring ass. Man, he don't do nothing wrong. <laughs> no, hold on. Your, your play speaks for itself. Baby. That too, but like if I was just like a a perfect, or not per perfect is a bad word, a nearly perfect uh -huh. individual, I, he'd be like, man, he's boring. He like, nah, blah, like, nah. But because I'm a up like everybody else, my may be a little bit greater or a little bit less. I don't know. Or everybody just, just get more. It just get more. Uh, that too. Like. That too. Um, it's fun. It makes my life my life, you know? I like it. So there's never been a time where you, you thought about like, hey man, I got it. All right, because you said you, said you don't think, you don't t it don't take you long to think about what you're gonna say. No, like, I'm just say it. You don't hear me saying like, uh, uh, I don't do go. that. No, you're fluid, you go. I don't got nothing to hide. I am who I am. Man, ain't nothing wrong with that, JB. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. So, you don't think about the future? Nah. You live in I'm playing living for it. Yeah, but, you play. Yeah. But I'm, I'm in it for today. I'm right here. When you, um, when, when Joel Embiid is kind of known, it, it's different. Like, Joel Embiid is a, known for, you know, just comedy, taking jabs. Like, he's clever. Like, just clever with mm -hmm. the, the social media jabs and things like that. How do you, how do you, how do both of you guys is, personality meshes because he seems like a you seem like more serious and he seems Joe wants to win I don't give a damn what you do <laughs> just go out there and let's win I don't give a damn what you do before the game I don't care what you eat I don't care if you don't <laughs> sleep the night before the game let's just go out there and win like and he he plays the win so you know be on social media I don't care I mean to me be on social media on the bench I don't care let's just win mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, man, do whatever you want. Why you don't like social media? I didn't say I don't like it, but I think that's just fake. Like, I use it, but it's like everything is, even my pictures, they all filtered. Yeah. Um, I show you the good. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm shooting, I never miss a shot on social <laughs> media. Um, everything, my, my shoes are tied mm -hmm. perfectly. Mm -hmm. I'm never ashy. I make sure I put on lotion. Like. So it's, it's, it's a perfect, it's a utopia. Like, it's, everything's supposed to be perfect. Yeah. Man, don't nobody got time for that. Like, we're not perfect. And I think that's why people get so caught up in comparisons because they're looking at social media like, man, that's how I'm supposed to be able to shoot. My form got to be perfect like Steph's or I got to learn how to jump high like Aaron Gordon, like mm -hmm. Earl. For, if you talk about beauty Gordon. or, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. shout out. Um, or I got to be able to handle the ball like Kyrie or whatever it may be. Like, man, just go be who you are. Um, we're all different. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I just think that the whole social media stuff is just, it's drawing more and more uh, comparisons that don't need to really be there. Mm -hmm. I get that. I, I, I stay away from it a lot of the time. Yeah, I know. I see you a little bit more active recently. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, I try, but then I'm just like, ah. You know, just, just because I, I want people to have an a insight on my life at times. Um, you know, and it, I am who I am. I walk around the house, I call my guys dummy one, dummy two, dummy three, and dummy four, mm -hmm. and they'll call me dummy five if I'm ever on their social media uh -huh. sites. Like, that's who we are, that's who I am. I love my guys. They know that I'm just joking around with them, but like, this is how we interact with each other. And, um, in my house. Like, we don't, I mean, for the most part, me and my guys, we don't even call each other by our name. We'll just be like, hey, yo. And everybody be like, yo, what's up, what's up? And you'll be like, yeah, you who I was talking to. Yeah. But you know, instead of just saying, yo, Fonzo or Rob or Mac, we just be like, yo. And then everybody be like, yo, what's up? Yeah. So it's like, that's how uh, like people get to know me more. Like, I think social media is good in, in, in that area is, you get to see what I'm like, what I'm doing, 
on a, um, on an everyday basis. You'll probably get boring with mine because mine's just the same. Mm -hmm. We're playing dominoes. We're baking sometimes just because we bored. As you got shit. your own. You got your own YouTube yep. channel. Yeah, YouTube. There, yeah? Is it, it's a barista when I'm in there making that <laughs> coffee. Saw, saw, you saw. heard me. You heard me. <laughs> uh, it, it, it gets fun around my household. It really does. No, I see it. I, I want to, you know, I want to, you know, get you out here, hit these, um, hit these Philly streets. Uh, I don't hit the streets. Man. I don't hit the streets. Well, what do, what do you do? I sit at the house. Just go home, huh? Now I'm telling you. It's low key, huh? Low hey, key. Man, I tell you right now, man. I was 29. I did yeah. that already, man. man. I did sure. that already. Finna settle down. It's that uh, time, huh? It's that time for the kid. You know, put that minivan yeah, to use. Yeah, put that minivan. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what put I'm that saying. minivan to use. Finally. That's what I'm about to say, man. Get those child seats back there, man. <laughs> yup. You, know, yeah. you really do. You really do have a, a rearview mirror, right? Yeah. In the Velka. That was just a that was yeah. just a little analogy that you mm. made. Cause I don't have a rear view mirror. I don't right? look back. I don't look back. Yeah. Okay. I don't look back. It's uh, where the NBA is headed with Golden State, uh -huh. LA. Seem like everything is my everything is migrating west. In order to really compete, does a player really have to go over there, or do you do you think? I gotta do is win the championship. But that's that's it's easier said than done. I know. So you don't got to be in the West to win a championship. You can be in the East and win a championship. Yeah, you can win an Eastern Conference championship. And then whenever you get to the finals, you can beat the Western yeah, team, man. and now you're the champions. Yeah, I don't know if that window, I don't know if that window was there right now, man. Hmm, that's weird because, <laughs> what, how many years ago? Three what? years ago, uh -huh. Cleveland did it, didn't they? They, they, they did. They did. They did. Le Le LeBron, you I'm know, he, saying. He, had a, he had a team. There was some circumstances. But, yeah, I hear you. I'm saying, I'm saying it's not, it's not impossible now. Huh? Yeah, I'm done. I, Thank you. Hey, I appreciate you. That, that, that was good. That's, that, yeah. that was, See, I told you. I was. <clears throat> you know, it's like, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take. You know, it's all. I, you I take tell him. No, I'm taking that home. Can you please, yeah. Bust that up. That's going on the. No, I ain't gonna. It ain't gonna make it on the flight. I'm right. Just for get there. I was telling him it's always hard when you're doing these dinner interviews. When you're eating at the same time, man, because I'm, I'm trying to, I gotta wait for you to finish talking, then I chew my. <laughs> that's what I said. The players don't care. It's, <laughs> it's, your, it's, it's your, it's your show. You can talk with food in your mouth no, if I you want to. That, man. Yeah, you can. Y'all can. I can't. I can't do that. Yes, man. you can. I'm a professional if I do it, man. And people are gonna like you, yeah. and they're not gonna like you. Mm. Have you not been listening to what I've been trying yeah, to preach I, to I you? Yeah, I haven't. I haven't. That hasn't. I ain't got that. That yeah, bold yet. You just gotta that. say. I don't give a damn. Got that bowl yet, yeah, man? Just gotta say it. So repeat after me. Hey. I don't care if you like me or if you don't. <laughs> Cheers to that. I don't care if you like me or you don't. Cheers to that, Jimmy. I'll take that, man. See, you're learning. We'll, 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 you're learning. We'll end on that note, man. My guy, Jimmy Butler of Philadelphia 76ers, man. Appreciate you, my dude. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man.